now we are doing problem on fourier transforms here the problem is find fourier transform of the function f of x equal to and it is defined as between a and b a and b function is defined as e power i k x and in the remaining cases zero we know the definition of the fourier transform fourier transform for the function f of x is defined as integral minus infinity to infinity e power i s x f of x dx this is fourier transform definition for this function we have to determine fourier transform in between a and b the function f of x is defined as e power i k x but here we have to substitute between minus infinity to infinity f of x value but in the problem they mention f of x as exponential function between the limits a and b but here the limits are minus infinity to infinity so split the integral minus infinity to infinity as minus infinity to a plus integral from a to b plus from b to infinity e power i s x f of x dx here also e power i s x f of x dx here also e power i s x f of x dx so between Uh, for x less than a, that is up to minus infinity, and for x greater than b, that is from b to infinity, the function is defined as zero. Here also zero. So both the integral values becomes zero. Next, in between a to b, that is uh, in these limits, the function is defined as e power i k x. So integral a to b, e power i s x. f of x is e power i k x dx and here the integral value zero now we have to evaluate this integral with respect to x exponential functions base is same so add powers e power if you take i common s plus k of x dx integral evaluation is e power i s plus k of x by s plus k limits are from a to b integration with respect to x over in place of x upper and lower limits substitution there is e power i s plus k of b minus e power i s plus k of a this is the required for your transform to the given function f of x This is the way how to determine Fourier transforms to the given function. So from the Fourier transform definition, we have the limits minus infinity to infinity. Mostly in the problems, they won't give only one function. They specify the limits accordingly. We have to split minus infinity to infinity. And the next problem is find Fourier cosine transform of Find Fourier cosine transform of phi e power minus two x plus two into e power minus five x. We know Fourier cosine transform definition. Fourier cosine transform to the function f of x equal to Integral zero to infinity, cos s x f of x dx. This is Fourier cosine transform definition. So here the function is here cos s x. The function is five into e power minus two x plus two e power minus five x dx. It is equal to integral zero to infinity. Five e power minus two x cos s x dx plus two integral zero to infinity e power minus five x cos s x dx. We have one formula available that is integral zero to infinity e power minus a x cos b x dx equal to a by A square plus b square. 
another one integral 0 to infinity e power minus ax sin bx dx equal to b by a square plus b square these are two formulas here we are going to apply first formula e power minus 2x cos sx dx in place of a we have 2 so 5 into 2 by a square plus b square that is a 4 plus s square plus here same first formula 5 by 25 plus s square on simplifying you will get by taking 10 common 1 by s square plus 4 plus 1 by s square plus 25 this is a Fourier cosine transform to the given function and one more problem is find Fourier sine transform of x e power minus ax we know Fourier sine transform definition Fourier sine transform to the function f of x equal to integral 0 to infinity sin sx f of x dx so once observe what happens if you try to apply this definition to find Fourier sine transform so according to the function definition sin sx in place of f of x x e power minus ax dx now observe the evaluation of integral we feel very difficulty because under the integral trigonometric exponential algebraic three types of functions present Be it becomes difficulty to evaluate this integral if you have product of two functions okay we have chance to go for by parts generalized rule of by parts but we feel very difficulty to evaluate this integral that's why not able to apply this definition to find Fourier sine transform that's why omit this one uh, is there any other technique to find Fourier sine transform to the function x e power minus ax from the properties we have one uh, formula available that is we know Fourier sine transform of x f of x equal to minus d by ds of Fourier cosine transform of f of x from the properties we proved two properties in the last after the modulation property uh, we studied these two once refer properties of Fourier transform you observe these two that is a Fourier cosine transform of x f of x equal to d by ds of Fourier sine transform to the function f of x we have these two properties available the problem is like that of this property Fourier transform of x f of x equal to minus d by ds of Fourier cosine transform of the function so our problem is find Fourier sine transform to x e power minus ax so here f of x is e power minus ax according to this property it is equal to minus d by ds of Fourier cosine transform of e power ax it is equal to minus d by ds Fourier cosine transform to e power ax means according to cosine transform definition integral 0 to infinity cos sx the function is e power ax dx already we have formula available integral 0 to infinity e power ax e power minus ax cos bx dx equal to a by a square plus b square so according to this formula it is equal to a by a square plus s square 
now we have to differentiate this one take a outside as it is a free from s 1 by a square plus s square it is equal to minus a on doing the derivative with respect to s s square plus a square whole square numerator derivative 0 minus of numerator into denominator derivative that is 2s so it is equal to minus minus plus 2as by s square plus a square whole square this is Fourier sign transform of the function x f of x if you observe this is a Fourier transform to uh, sorry it is a Laplace transform to t sin a t is a 2 a s by s square plus a square like that you got and uh, one more problem is uh, find Fourier cosine transform to x e power minus a x same according to the previous problem try to do it this on your own one more problem is show that the Fourier sine transform of f of x that is Fourier sine transform of the function f of x as 2 sin s by s square into 1 minus cos s given f of x equal to defined as x for 0 less than x less than 1 2 minus x for 1 less than x less than 2 0 for x greater than 2 for this function we have to determine Fourier sine transform so solution Fourier sine transform to the function f of x is given by integral 0 to infinity sin s x f of x dx. This is a Fourier sine transform. Between the limits 0 to infinity we have to substitute the function value. But the function definition is given in between 0 to 1 it is defined as x and in between 1 to 2 defined as 2 minus x in the remaining case 0. So, split the interval 0 to infinity as 0 to 1 plus 1 to 2 plus 2 to infinity. So, according to our definition sin is x, in between 0 to 1 the function is defined as x and in between 1 to 2 the function is defined as 2 minus x into sin is x dx. And from 2 onwards, x greater than 2, that is between 2 to infinity, the function is defined as 0. Sin sx dx. So, it is equal to integral 0 to 1 x into sin sx dx plus integral 1 to 2, 2 minus x sin sx dx. And this integral value 0. Now, if we evaluate these two integrals, our problem will be completed. To evaluate this integral under the integral algebraic and the trigonometric function, we know we have to apply generalized rule of by parts to evaluate this type of integral. So here u equal to x, v equal to sin s x, u dash equal to 1, u double dash 0. Here v1 integral of sin that is minus cos sx by here integration with respect to x so integration with respect to x divided by s v2 equal to cos integration is sin so minus sin sx by s square next to evaluate this integral we take u2 minus x and v sin sx so 
u equal to 2 minus x u dash becomes minus 1 u double dash equal to 0 here v1 integral of sine that is minus cos sx by s v2 equal to minus sin sx by s square now evaluate these two integrals by keeping our generalized rule of by parts formula that is integral uv dx equal to u v1 minus u dash v2 plus u double dash v3 minus and so on this is generalized rule of integration by part keep this formula in mind and uh, use these symbols integral uv dx equal to u v1 x v1 minus cos sx by s u v1 minus u dash v2 sin sx by s square limits 0 to 1 and here plus again evaluate this integral by keeping these symbols u v1 u2 minus x v1 is minus cos sx by s u v1 minus u dash in the formula I have minus sign minus u dash that is one more sign here also one more minus sign becomes plus u dash v2 sin sx by s square limits are from 1 to 2 by substituting upper limit 1 integration with respect to x over in place of x1 so minus cos s by s plus sin s by s square by substituting lower limit 0 into this one 0 sin 0 0 so lower limit value 0 next here plus and here upper limit substitution in place of x2 that is 2 minus 2 this term 0 and here sin minus sin 2s by s square upper limit substitution over minus of lower limit substitution in place of x 1 2 minus 1 that is 1 here minus 1 cos s by s next in place of x 1 that is minus sin s by s square now if you go for the simplification minus cos s by s here minus into minus that is plus cos s by s this term and this will be cancelled and here plus sin s by s square and here minus into minus plus that is 2 sin s by s square so you will observe 2 sin s by s square sin s by s square here one more sin s by s square minus minus plus so 2 sin s by s square and here minus sin 2 s by s square now it is equal to 2 sin s by s square sin 2a like that formula 2 sin s by 2 sin s cos s by s square here if you take 2 sin s by s square common you will get 1 minus cos s that is the required one find uh, that is a show for your sin transform to the function f of x as 2 sin s by s square into 1 minus cos s we got like that and uh, one more problem I am giving you uh, find find Fourier cosine transform of f of x f of x is given as cos x for 0 less than x less than a 
and 0 for x greater than or equal to a. Complete this problem on your own. Find Fourier cosine transform to the function f of x. And one more problem. Find Fourier cosine transform to e power minus ax cos ax. And these two problems left to you. This completes the problems on Fourier transform.